Making a wish for good sushi rice. Here we have it, Spam Masubi using the wrap pack. If you've been following me, you know my love for Spam Masubi. I've been to Hawaii twice now, and I think I've eaten Spam Masubi almost every day while I've been there. For those who are uninitiated, Spam Masubi basically takes Spam, which is a canned meat product that's super popular in Hawaii, as well as countries like the Philippines and Korea, and they combine it with sushi. So you put sushi rice and dried nori and wrap it all together and you get Spam Musubi. I actually got this bandana the first time I went to Hawaii when we went ATVing in Kualoa Ranch to kind of cover up the dust. And I thought it'd be a perfect time to bring back the 90s. Shout out to you, Lapoon, for my Lucky Cat bucket hat. So usually Spam Musubi just has teriyaki spam, sushi rice wrapped in nori. I went ahead and also added some scrambled egg with scallion, which is one of my favorite ways of getting it at one of my favorite places in Oahu, Musubi Cafe Iasume, which is probably the most popular Spam Musubi place on the island. There's multiple locations all around, and they also specialize in really fun combinations. So my personal favorite is Spam, Avocado, Eel, Egg, and that's it. <laughs> they also have one that's Spam Bacon Avocado Eel. I wanted to kind of honor theirs, so I also put some scrambled egg and avocado, but then I took it to the next level, and I also added some furukake, which is a Japanese rice seasoning that has dried seaweed and dried fish flakes and crunchy puffed rice, as well as togarashi, which is like a chili spice that you often find at udon restaurants to add to your soup. It's also used in flavoring yakitori and various Japanese food. I also added some kewpie mayo because, you know, I just love kewpie. And I think that the creaminess really helps to bring everything together. So typically Spam Musubi is shaped like the can. And if you want to make it at home, you typically have to either use a special mold or you have to put plastic wrap inside this container and then kind of press the rice in to make the same shape. So in an effort to you know, reduce waste, eliminate that plastic wrap, we've used the wrap pack and it makes it super easy to build your musubi and you can kind of add in all those different layers of toppings. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. I cooked my, my spam really thin and crispy. And then I made a really simple teriyaki sauce, which is equal parts soy sauce, mirin, and sake. You kind of just let that simmer and coat into a glaze on the teriyaki. So you have that salty, slightly sweet, super savory spam. And then you have the creamy avocado. You've got that white rice, which has been seasoned with a mixture of rice vinegar and sugar and salt in order to create your sushi rice. And 
Um, also, the texture of the rice is just so good. You can really feel every morsel of rice. You have the fluffy scrambled egg, the creamy QP mayo. I also had some chopped scallions for some, for some extra freshness. And then you have the umami from the seaweed, from the furikake, and a little bit of spice from the togarashi. This is so good, I mean, check that out. So give this a try at home. You can totally customize it how you wish. Honestly, if I had some eel, I would add that into here without a doubt. Um, it's, it's at first like, what, does that taste good? Trust me, it is so good if you like eel. But yeah, I mean, you can add pineapple to this if you wanted to. Um, another thing they do at Musubi Cafe Iyasume is they use shiso leaves and also pickled radish, which adds a really nice acidic pop. Run wild with your imagination and creating your perfect musubi without having to use any plastic wrap or spam musubi mold. All you need is a scissor and your hands to fold that baby up using that TikTok bio wrap pack. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more ups. See ya!